everybody, and it's Kid Catholic Season 3, Episode 15, and Happy New Year, guys. It is now 2018. It's crazy, and today we are talking about what we can do to make ourselves better this year and New Year's resolutions, so let's get into it. So, guys, I want to start off by saying 2017 was an incredible year, especially for Kid Catholic. The set developed so much. Uh, we got a speaking engagement. We reached 500 subs and 600 subs. We went to the St. Eugene School fundraiser and actually had a booth there. It was an awesome year, and I look forward to an even better year this year. And, guys, my goal for this year for Kid Catholic is to reach 1,000 subscribers. So if you guys would help with that, that would would be awesome that would be an incredible blessing so please go share this video with your friends share this channel with your friends please get others to subscribe not only to share the faith but also to help me reach 1,000 subscribers that would be a huge blessing guys if you could help with that anyway guys let's talk a little bit about new year's resolutions so resolutions are awesome they help you to achieve what you want to accomplish for the next year and a lot of them are dieting are working out or getting muscles or getting skinnier and that's all great but what helps us get to heaven is our spiritual health how we are inside how we are with sins how we are when it comes to how close we are with Jesus not how fat or skinny or whatever physically we are because after we die, when we go to eternal life, and none of that's going to matter. It's all going to be about spiritual health. Spiritual helps health decides whether you have eternal life or not. And I'm not saying completely stop dieting, that it's bad, that you should not try to lose weight or not try to work out. That all is great, but it shouldn't be our number one priority. Our number one priority should be our spiritual health, which gets us to heaven. It should be getting us closer to God. It should be getting us closer to Jesus. It should be getting us closer to heaven and eternal life after we die. Whether you're fat, skinny, or have stick arms like me that you're trying to get rid of, we should put spiritual health as number one priority. And how can we do that? Well, we can start off this year by trying to become better Catholics and trying to become closer to God. Maybe we pray a decade of the rosary every day this year. Maybe we maybe we read the Bible every day. Maybe we create new devotions as our New Year's resolution in order to become spiritually healthier. Another way to accomplish this is by taking a piece of scripture and making it our own for the year, trying to live it out. My family is doing this. My mom's scripture verse is, be still and know that I am God. Mine is, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. My, sister is, my sister's is, she is clothed in strength and dignity. She lives without fear of the future. Maybe we take scriptures like this and try to make it our own and try to live it out for the year. And that is maybe a way we could get closer to God. And it may not be the whole long scripture each day maybe mine which is i can do all things through christ who strengthens me maybe one day it's i can do all things maybe another day it can be christ strengthens me you can get up little parts of the scripture or take the scripture in whole do whatever you want with it just try to live it out try to remember that scripture that's a way that we could get closer to god and improve our spiritual health which we need in order to gain eternal life and in order to get to heaven we need to try to improve our spiritual health god has all the tools laid out for us he has a Savior who he sent to earth. He has forgiveness, a ton of forgiveness. If you sin one time in your life, you're not done. You still have forgiveness through the sacrament of reconciliation. God has all the tools planned out for us. We just need to use them. We just need to use what he has for, for us on earth in order to gain eternal life. Like praying the rosary, like reading the Bible, like taking scriptures of our own, like going to reconciliation frequently, like going to mass every week possibly every day god has all of this planned out we just need to use it and quite frankly a lot of us in the world even maybe catholics don't use what god has provided we're too lazy we don't go to reconciliation as often we may not read we may, we may not pray the rosary every day but we should try because God has these planned out for us. God has it right there. 
he is saying, please come use this. This is an, this is a path to eternal life that you can use by living out your faith, by evangelizing, by trying not to sin as much as possible, by mimicking all of the saints that has ever been on the earth. We just need to use what God gives us. It's as easy as that. Use what God has given us. Mimic the saints. Do everything you can. Because when we die, none of the earthly belongings are going to matter. Sports, dieting, none of that's going to matter. Doesn't mean you have to quit it completely, but don't make it your priority. This year, in 2018, try to make spiritual health and getting closer to God your priority. Because when push comes to shove, that's the only thing that's going to matter. So do you guys know what it's time for now? It's time for... The Saint of the Week! Back at the Saint Sofa, and today's Saint of the Week is Saint Olaf. Now, in my opinion, Saint Olaf has one of the best stories of any saint. Growing up, he fought a war for Norway because he was Norwegian against the Swedes. Because Sweden was actually in war with Norway and he tried to free his country. He fought in order for his country to become free. He also asked that missionaries from England be sent to Norway in order to make Norway more Catholic. So he really, really loved his country. He fought for it. He tried to make it Catholic. And of course, people, Sweden, people did not like this. So they captured him. And when he was eventually freed, he was then killed. And he is known as a martyr. Now, it's cool because he wasn't necessarily known as very holy during his life. A lot of people really didn't like him, so nobody thought that he was ever going to be a saint. The reason why he was considered holy after his life is because miracles occurred at his tomb. That's right, guys. He was not very holy during his life. That is very rare for a saint, guys, and that's what makes him one of the best saints. Another thing is, he fought for his country. He loved his country. And as you can tell, there's not a lot of that going on right now. Not many people love their country in this country. And that's why people in our military and our police officers are so great. Because they're willing to fight for our country, even through everything. And whether they know it or not, they are doing their best to mimic St. Olaf by loving and fighting for their country. Now, I'm not saying in order to... In order to love your country, you have to be in the military or have to be a police officer. But we should support our military and police officers for all, all that they do because they do mimic St. Olaf, who loved his country very, very much. And we all should love our country just as much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to please share this video and share my channel with friends. That way I can reach 1,000 subs. It would be a huge blessing if you guys could do that. Also, please subscribe so that I can reach 1,000 subs. If you are not already, click the red button down below. And don't forget to click the bell next to it. That way you get notified when I come out with a new video every Tuesday. Please comment down below if there is anything you guys want to learn about or any saint you want to learn about. Also, please like my Facebook page, at Kid Catholic. The link to that will be in the description and in the comments. That was Kid Catholic Season 3, Episode 15, and I will see you guys next week.